peace and prosperity welcome back to earth's feminine or if you're new here welcome this is the channel where i am reclaiming primordial feminine energy for myself and for all of the women out there that are seeking a more soulful and authentic relationship with their feminine energy and who they are in this world today i want to talk about the war on sacred masculinity and i f i feel like this needs to be spoken on um this subject in particular and what i'm going to mention here in this video because there are a lot of women in the world i know for myself at one point where we just we start to feel like the vast majority of men or masculinity in general is just in um basically trash <laughs> uh, we get we get to a point right truly authentically like this is me just being authentic when you go through life and you're carrying yourself in a certain way and you go grow up in a certain environment and you have all these people around you telling you well this is how men are men just get angry or this is how men are they just cheat men men just cheat on you like that's what they like to do men like to have you know sex with all these women men like to do this men like to do that you just have to accept it right i don't know about y'all but in my experience as an Afro-Indigenous woman coming up, growing up in New Orleans, um, Louisiana, and also just growing up in the South, in different areas of the South, you know, I was influxed by many people, right? When they, when they were trying to educate me on men or masculinity, the things that they would tell me about men just sounded horrible it was like literally like it just sounded like men were just horrible human beings like just as a human being you know you should not do this to people would always be my mindset of like why do you want me to accept that men men like to cheat why do you want me to accept that you know men when you know when you try to control men they get angry or you know there's a whole bunch of different things that i ex i experienced people justifying men's behavior as an attribute of their masculinity and because of this i feel like masculinity is it, and people women have seen and believe and literally believe masculinity to be something bad and to be something toxic and to be something you know like not good right and i see male gurus and male coaches and male teachers you know bringing up how masculinity isn't toxic you know masculinity is good you know because they're talking about actually aligned elements of masculinity they're talking about masculinity elements of masculinity that are more sacred but i feel like their perspectives and their explanations also are are not holistic and they're missing a, a big chunk of um enlightenment that people need today and that's the fact that literally people are are especially women are conditioned to believe that men are a certain way that men are these low frequency predatory beings that don't care like they they just you know they can have sex with anything they don't or they don't develop any kind of relationship when they are being intimate with a woman or emotional connection um you know they lie you know they get angry they break shit you know it's like you we've been conditioned a lot of us have been conditioned to just accept that as 
what is normal for masculinity and when you don't know that you you're you're missing a big part of what people need um what people need to know about masculinity what people need to understand about masculinity so they can release that programming that was only used to justify immoral behavior on behalf of men and patriarchal societies that did not want to have to um, elevate to a certain standard of being that did not see um, the reason or need for that because of their disconnection to uh, primordial feminine energy to earth feminine energy and um, this is just something that had had become you know a part of my reality right I'm speaking for myself and I know there are plenty of other women that can also attest to literally being groomed and conditioned to believe that men are a certain way and I just want to say that it wasn't until I got into like my right after I had my daughter and I had left, you know, my very abusive, toxic relationship um, and I started to do my inner work. It was only then that I started to actually come into contact with real and true and pure examples of sacred masculinity and what sacred masculinity looks like. Now, and I didn't say perfect, okay? These are still people who have made mistakes, who have uh, grown, and, and and but this is the thing, they, they've learned, they learned and they grew from those mistakes that they made. They made changes in their life to become better men. And from what they went through, they evolved into this uh, this this perfect well i said they're not perfect but to me right that journey creates this perfect example of sacred masculinity because this man has healed from everything that he has gone through he has discovered himself outside of everything and outside of everyone he has discovered his own true being and he no longer needs any kind of validation. He no longer needs to put anyone down. He no longer needs, like, he has these remo emotional reactions, like, from his imbalance with his feminine energy and masculine energy. Like, this is a healed, healthy, and whole man that does have the ability and the capacity to treat you right and to love you the way you're meant to be loved and to honor you and to respect you and to uphold his integrity and his character as a man and not make excuses for behavior that is immature, raggedy, you know, disrespectful to his own self and to you. Like that exists and it's called sacred masculinity and Right now, we have a, a lot of, not only does um, what I just mentioned before have this kind of um, warring effect on that sacred masculinity because it's, it's conditioning and programming the minds of women and of people in general, right? Not just women, but literally men will grow up being programmed as this is what a man's supposed to do. Or this is because I'm a man, I get permission to be sexually promiscuous. Or I get permission to, um, you know, walk over, walk all over somebody's feelings. Or, you know, it's like, no, you do not get permission to do that just because you're a man. Just because you think, right? Somebody's programmed you to believe that you were biologically wired to be a jackass and that you like that has to end and i'm i'm coming on here to say this because i see a lot of i've come across a lot of male coaches and a lot of male gurus who coach men and 
I feel like a lot of some of these coaches, not all of them, okay? There are some that have have integrated this element into their teachings and their coachings. But a lot of what these modern day coaches for men lack and in these guides, you know, for men lack is they lack a relationship with the divine feminine. They lack a relationship to the great mother. They don't have any kind of real, authentic, uh, soulful honoring of the of the sacred feminine, of the earth feminine, right? It's like they're still operating from this mentality of I'm here to dominate women, right? And not that women are the spiritual guides of you, okay, of the masculine. So what this does is you, these coaches, right, with these mindsets, they come on and they, they, they you know, preach and teach about what it means to be a man and how, you know, masculinity is supposed to behave and what they're supposed to do. But then when you look at it on the flip side, they have all these weird ideologies about who women are and how women are supposed to be in and things like that right kevin samuels was like the iconic staple for literally the worst male coach and guru of the of the like i don't even know like the timeline of the era or whatever but in the time that he was a coach and he got all of the clout that he got like he really to me just reflected how effed up in the head people are in relationship to how they understand masculinity masculinity and the way that men are supposed to carry themselves think and behave especially in relationship with women and I and this is literally it's it's causing men to become um immature like they just they do they don't grow and it's not I wouldn't even say it's causing them to be immature but it's keeping them in this state of immaturity it's almost like like the coaching uh, like evolves them to a certain point but they can't get past this certain level of maturity to where they go beyond this um, practical understanding of what it means to be a man. But emotionally, spiritually, what does it mean to be a man? Do you understand that? And this is what I need the ladies that are watching this to, to really get through their head is that these kinds of men do exist. These kinds of men do, like they're calling out for their sacred feminine. But the thing is, what, I, what I've what i come, come um, into realization is because this isn't a collective thing that has taken place within the masculine paradigm, yet it's happening, but it hasn't happened happened on the level to where you know certain coaches and certain gurus have had an impact and influence but it's happening right it's still at this moment in time i feel like under the under the radar okay it's happening but everybody don't everybody's not into it everybody doesn't know about it everybody isn't embodying it um when that happens Okay. And typically the way that it happens is it happens through your relationship with these men. <laughs> Point blank period. It happens through your relationship with these men. And this is why it like even for men when they have these coaches and these gurus, it's like the teachings can only go so far when the feminine is not involved. When the feminine is not involved, their maturity can only get to a certain level. 
their understanding of life can only get reach a certain plateau right it is when the feminine is it becomes involved in in a man's life and he and he is dealing with a woman that is activated in her earth feminine and her grounded fierce primal feminine energy that this man has to grow the hell up <laughs> that this man has to grow the hell up and this is the thing i don't want you know i don't want women to feel like they have to be the ones to heal these men they have to be the ones to you know solve all of these men's problems no this isn't what this is about this is actually about understanding that you do your job as a woman just by holding to your principles as a woman, your earth feminine principles as a woman. When you understand who you are and what you represent as a woman, right, which I've went over before in my first video of earth feminine energy, when you understand those principles and you honor them within yourself, with anybody that comes into contact with you, they don't have a choice but to mature. They don't have a choice but to elevate and evolve. And guess what? If they don't want to do that, they're going to just remain in that same low frequency energy and they're going to attract other, you know, low frequency other low frequency women that have not embodied this energy yet and so they're the women those women are the ones who are gonna get rent like ransacked ran for their money you know used and abused and i'm not looking down on anybody or or anything like that because i've been there and i've done that this is about understanding that you know men have the, the collective masculine has a journey to go through okay and there are a lot of men that are actually going through this journey right now and they're actually hitting that the top of the mountain if they haven't hit it already and they're ready and they're open and they're willing to show up as that king as that provider as that um magician as that lover you know all of the the masculine archetypes he's ready to show up for you in his sacredness and not in his immaturity and his um, eagerness to dominate you okay so um, this also has a lot to do with the symbol that is used to represent masculinity in this day and age so I mentioned how Venus is the symbol that is used for women and how we're expressing Venus in its detriment but in this aspect, it's Mars. And, and Mars also is not the planet that is the dominant energy over masculine energy, okay? So for those of you who probably are like, what is she talking about, planets now? What is going on here? Because I know I can do that sometimes. Um, this is the planetary influence, okay, that I've seen that has taken um, taken place over women and men. And I'm attributing this back to the symbols that are used when we look at our genders, right? For women, it's the symbol of Venus. When For men, it's the symbol of Mars. And Mars in its detriment, okay? Mars in its detriment is what we're seeing right now <laughs> with the collective masculine is this a uh, detrimented masculine energy that is immature that wants to control that wants to dominate that wants to do what it wants and not think about anybody else um very lacking in maturity emotionally and so these are all things that are like this is what is being used to represent men right the energetic signature and again just like for women for the women and I explained this in my Earth Feminine vi Earth Feminine Energy video. Just um, just like for the women, for the men, this isn't natural either. They're not Mars isn't the dominant masculine energy of this planet. 
So we shouldn't be attributing Mars as the dominant masculine energy here on this planet. That's that's not how that's not the aligned masculine energy. So the aligned or I would say dominant masculine energy that is on this planet is you guys are not going to think that this is the energy, but it's actually Jupiter. OK, yeah, I bet y'all some of y'all are probably going to think it's the sun. And for those of you who are not subscribed to my uh, astrology channel where I have um, a, tons of videos about spirituality, astrology, this is where I go really in depth into esoterics and um this higher level of knowledge so if you're interested in learning more about that then that's the channel that you should subscribe to as well don't forget to subscribe to earth's feminine as well be a part of the earth's feminine community um but the the aligned energy for masculinity is actually jupiter here on this planet so Imagine men, men believing that what they are, you know, what are the, what the energy that they're supposed to be predominantly embodying because of the symbols that have been put onto us is this, um, warrior energy. But again, when that is not the dominant energy that is actually in your existence in this realm, it's actually like secondary or third well in this case it would be third then you you end up expressing that energy in 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 its detriment and not in its aligned in a it's an aligned state so jupiter is actually the aligned energy for masculinity here on earth and jupiter is literally the 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 energy that we're all supposed to have faith in, that we're all supposed to believe in. This is this energy of jovial positivity, okay? A, um, aligning yourself with abundance through uh, behaving in, in moral, in this morally righteous way, right? Like, so morality here is a really big thing. Um, positivity, you know, um, living an aligned way of life. This is Jupiter energy. This is what makes us all very lucky. But not only that, but Jupiter aligns us with the Earth's energy. Because in esoteric astrology, Sagittarius is uh, the connection to Jupiter and Earth. And Earth and Jupiter have this relationship together, right? So uh, honestly, I have a lot of videos on my other channel that, that go into depth um, into what I'm saying right now so just go to my other channel so you can understand what i'm saying but um all in all i just i want this video to let the women watching know and also if you're a man you know watching know that um this is what's going on and the only way um that i'm seeing for men to truly get their shit together and realize that you know you need to grow up and you need to be you need to step into your Jupiter energy. You need to step into that man that people can have faith in, that people can believe in, and stop trying to dominate and control and and um you know be this wild, you know. <laughs> oh, I can go on and on, but my my thing here is even in the aligned energy of Mars, okay. When you're in the aligned energy of Mars, that masculinity re represents self self control. It re it represents self mastery. It represents mastering the war within yourself. And this is what I see. Um, I just don't feel like men are getting that um, that real upheaval um, collectively from you know, the coaches and the things that I've been seeing, but I know that it's happening. And I know that whether it happens through a coach or whether it's nine times out of 10 going to happen through your relationship with a woman, the maturity must happen and the maturity is happening. And for my women watching this video, you must be in alignment with your earth feminine principles. You must 
you must be activated in who you are in your primordial femininity for this man to be able to find you okay because i feel like there are men who who have reached this higher this top of the mountain who have reached this place in their life where they are embodied in their sacred masculinity but now they're like looking at all these women like who who haven't activated themselves right who haven't align themselves so when you align with yourself you can call in your sacred divine partner your person your twin flame whatever you believe in your soulmate you can call them in um but you have to believe you have to believe that sacred masculinity is normal first because believing all the stuff that people have ingrained into us about masculinity this detriment of masculinity is just ridiculous and it is a it is to me it's like criminal that you would convince people that based off of in these inhumane actions that men men do and men behave in these ways like they do it because we enable it they do it because they're like a spoiled child that thinks that they can act this way and they, and nobody, you know, has put them in their place and, and told them that they can't or showed them that they can't, you know, uh, because of our own conditioning as women. We we start to even believe and, and adopt like, oh, this is normal. Like, this is just the way men are. No, that's not normal no human should be treated this way nobody should be dealt with this way and if you are you know th there's something amiss so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like make sure you subscribe join join the earth's feminine community and um if you are interested in learning more about how to unlock your primordial feminine power um make sure to send me a message to learn more about the creatrix unleashed which is my five month mistress mind or the creatrix academy for um, any courses or programs that might be a good fit for you so um yeah the link to be able to send me a message on instagram or email me is down below in the description and i will see you all in my next video peace